Hello everyone. I am Tarun Kosik and today in this lecture we will study about the dual simplex method for solving linear programming problems. But before studying the dual simplex we will see a question that was asked in the UPSC 2014. Uh, the question was about the simplex method that uh, by using the simplex method solve this question and you see that it's a tricky question and that was asked in the UPC mains 2014 and it was for the 20 marks it's a tricky question so which, which was the trick we will see okay so these two equations are given 5x1 plus uh, sorry 3 equation this equation and this equation these three equations are given and we will be adding these three select variables I will not be explaining how to add these select variables we have discussed in the earlier lecture so you can make this uh, table without any problem you can make it I, I, I'm sure you can make it if you have seen my previous lecture then after the doing that uh, after operating this operation after doing this operation r1 changes to r1 minus 5 r1 we will make this video uh, sorry this uh, not video this uh, table okay when you make this uh, this table you will see that 40 divided by 1 this is the key column and this again 40 divided by 1 in the minimum ratio you will see 40 and 40 I told you we are required to select the minimum ratio and in the first we are getting the 32 as the minimum ratio but in this 40 and 40 there is a tie with the tie if there is a tie when these two values gets uh, similar the two values same ho jati hai, same mil jati hai, by mistake uh, by chance you can say that when there is a tie between these two values then how to proceed now t now see these two values belongs to which variable these two variable uh, values belongs to s1 and s2 ok so just write sorry s3 uh, write down s1 and s3 ok and again corresponding to that write down the s1 and s3 just write down s1 and s3 in this column and in this row just write down s1 and s3 ok now <coughs> just put the values of uh, just put the values from this uh, table of the values of s1 this is the value of s1 is 1 and the value of s3 here is 0 Co uh, corresponding value I'm saying ok this is 1 and this is 0 again this is 0 and this is 1 this is 0 and this is 1 ok now the key column correspond the key column corresponding to s1 is 1 corresponding jo hamara column tha usme s1 ki corresponding value kya thi 1 aur s3 ki corresponding 1 now divide this column s1 this s1 row by 1 is complete jo s1 thi iska jo key column tha 1 let us say 2 hota to is complete s1 ko jo bhi jo complete jo row thi hamari s1 is puri row ko main do se divide karta lekin yahan pe key column kitna hai key column is 1 corresponding to this s1 is s1 ke jo corresponding jo ye value hai 1 is se divide karta main se jab divide kiya when divided by 1 i get i get 1 0 divided by 1 i get 0 again s3 here also 1 now I have to divide this S3 also by 1 now divide this complete row by 1 if we divide this we get 0 here and uh, here we get 1 now how to select we have to select it column wise from left to right from this left to right we have to see from left to right left to right if we see in the first column this is 1 0 which one is smaller 1 is smaller or 0 is smaller the 0 is smaller so S3 so we will select this S3 as our key alif, key row if s3 is our key row this means s3 is our key row means this will be the outgoing vector and this is incoming hence it will become 1 1 as our key element if 1 becomes key element then it's very simple question then we will be solving this uh, with very ease in the next i have shown i have done this complete iteration and after doing that you will get s2 is, s1 is equal to 32 and x2 is equal to 
40 just put these value x1 and x2 into the maximum z we will get the value of maximum z that is 920 okay this was the question asked in the upsc means 2014 and it was for the 20 marks very simple simple only if you know that uh, trick that how to select this 40 and how to uh, do this 40 this upper 40 or lower 40 uh, this lower 40 this was the tricky okay i think you got this trick if you didn't get then you could put this into the comment section i will be happy to reply that now in this lecture uh, we will we are going to be studying studying about this dual simplex method this dual simplex method okay so since there was uh, i haven't found a question that was asked in the dual simplex the mainly question was asked in the upc on the simplex method but uh, since it is mentioned that slavers are dual simplex so we will be studying about the dual simplex so i will take an example this was a good example that's why i have taken this maximum z is equal to this and take a look these three equation but these three inequality are in the form of greater than form okay these are in the greater than form so what so what we have to make we have to make it into the less form less in, lesser inequality how to make it just multiply by minus one both side if we multiply both side by minus one what we get here we get minus three one minus three x one minus x two and we here we get minus three and this will become minus this will become less than equality and once it becomes less than equality we are required to add the variable and these variables are called surplus variable why because this was the greater than inequality and we have made it into the less than we have manually made it okay this was not given we have made it that's why we this is called surplus variable okay now after just uh, this, this is simple again this this is uh, like the simplex method just make this complete row uh, complete table in the same fashion now the process is same the process uh, the table formation is same but the process on this table is different and what how it is different we will be studying about that you just take a snapshot of this because this operation i have written at r2 uh, changes into minus 1 by 3 into r2 this you just remember because if i'm going to delete it then it this complete will be deleted so i'm deleting it you just remember this okay <coughs> sorry now how to judge we are we are required to calculate this cg this cj we have come calculated now okay now we are uh, now how we will proceed we will see the most negative value the most largest you can see the most largest value in the negative which is most largest value minus 6 or minus 3 minus 6 we have to see the most negative value negative to only see negative to body value negative to body value once you have to minus check so this will be the row so we will in the simplex method we are selecting the key column in this in this we will selecting the key row so this we will this will be our key row minus 4 minus 3 0 and 0 comma 1 this will be our row okay so this cj minus 2 this minus 1 so we will be dividing this cj by this key row what we will doing cj divide this cj by key row r o w key row so if we divide minus 2 by minus 4 we get minus 2 uh, sorry 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.5 if we get minus one by minus one divided by minus three then we get one by three minus sign get cancelled we get minus three one by three sorry one by three and this is zero point three so in the ratio part we are we are still required to see the least value least positive value okay and the value is zero point three okay <coughs> <coughs> sorry again 0 0.3 so this will be the key 
element okay so this minus 3 will be the key element now again we are required to make it by we are required to make it as 1 how to make it just divide this complete r2 by 3 which i have written here r2 is changes by r2 divided by minus 3 i just divide this complete r2 by minus 3 what i will be getting i'll be getting this one i have got this one okay this is the this was the one which i was talking about once i get this one this is one if i add these two then it will become zero मतलब वन की एलिमेंट को वन बनाने के बाद उसके कोरस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यू ऊपर भी और नीचे भी वी हैव टू मेक इट एज जीरो हाउ टू मेक इट एज जीरो दिस इज माइनस वन दिस इज वन इफ वी जस्ट सिंपली एड दिस टू दिस दिस पॉइंट विल बिकम जीरो दिस इज टू दिस इज वन जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाय टू इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाय टू दिस कंप्लीट आर टू यही हम इसलिए हम इसको दो से मल्टीप्लाई कराएंगे और उसके साथ जोड़ देंगे तो दिस एलिमेंट विल बिकम जीरो ओके सो आई हैव डन दिस आफ्टर डूइंग दिस दिस वाज ऑपरेशन आई हैव मैं आई हैव रिटर्न जस्ट आर वन प्लस आर टू एंड जस्ट डू द मल्टीप्लीकेशन बाय टू एंड सिंपली एड इनटू द आर टू आर थ्री वी विल गेट वी वी गेट दिस ओके एंड इन द सोल्यूशन पार्ट अगेन आफ्टर मेकिंग दिस कंप्लीट यू कैन से टेबल वी हैव टू चेक दूल्यूशन इन द सोल्यूशन वी हैव टू सी द मोस्ट नेगेटिव वैल्यू मोस्ट नेगेटिव वैल्यू इज माइनस वन सो दिस विल बी अवर की एलिमेंट और की रो दिस विल बी अवर की रो सो दिस इज की रो के आर दिस इज की रो आफ्टर दैट वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिवाइड दिस सी जे बाय की रो की रो से डिवाइड कराएंगे सो आफ्टर डिवाइडिंग आई हेपोर्ट दिस डिवाइडिंग पार्ट हियर this is 2 by 3 this is 1 and 2 by 3 is 2 by 5 is minimum so 2 by 5 is corresponding to what 2 by 3 so this will be our incoming so since it is incoming so this will be our key element after getting this as key element we are required to make it one how to make it divide this by itself ek kisi cheez ko usi se divide karte hain hame kya milta hai one so we have we we have divide it by this or we have to multiply this by reverse of it so that we will get वन आफ्टर गेटिंग वन जस्ट डू द सेम प्रोसेस वी हैव टू मेक इट जीरो बाय डूइंग द ऑपरेशन विच ऑपरेशन आई हैव मेंशन दिस ऑपरेशन हियर ओके सो पुट दिस सिंस दिस टू दिस द वैल्यूज आर इन द सॉल्यूशन दिस वैल्यूज आर पॉजिटिव देयर इज नो नेगेटिव वैल्यू हेंस देयर इज नो नेगेटिव वैल्यू वी हैव गेट आवर सॉल्यूशन दिस सॉल्यूशन x1 2 3 5 एंड x2 6 5 just put this value in the maximum z and we solve this and we will getting the minus 12 by 5 <coughs> minus 12 by 5 sorry again actually i am suffering from the fever that's why i am but still i am making the video for you <coughs> okay so we are getting this minus 12 but uh, minus 12 by 5 Where x1 is equal to 3 by 5 and x2 is equal to 6 by 5. Okay. So that's all for the linear programming. And uh, if you have any doubt, you can put into the comment comment section, and I will be happy to reply that. And uh, only two requests again. Just like if you really like this video, and please share this video as much as you can, so that many pe many people will get benefited from these videos. Okay, and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so that's all for this lecture. Thank you for watching this video.